Welcome everybody to my first Halo 2 live stream right here on FDO4 Streams. And this is of course, if you're watching this on the Archive channel on YouTube, this is in 1080p, 60fps, really high bitrate, so it should look really good. If you're watching it on Twitch, I'm streaming this at 72060 at the usual Twitch suggested bitrate. So, everything looks good. Pretty excited about this. We're going to do some extra things as well. I have a target of where I want to reach in terms of the story. If we reach that before um, 8 o'clock, which is in two hours from now, then we shall... I'll talk about some multiplayer maps. It'll be good. So, outside is very snowy here in the UK. It's very snowy. Let us do a quick start. We're going to be playing on Heroic. Why not Legendary, you may ask. One answer. And that one answer is Sniper Jackals. Let's do this. I'm going to put the controller down, and we are going to sit back and enjoy this opening cutscene. Because it's badass. All the cutscenes in Halo 2 Anniversary are amazing. Um, Blur Studios who did them are just incredible, incredible CG artists. I totally forgot we get this Halo 5 prequel. I thing. do not trust you. He may, but I do not. Noted. My friend's trust is not the issue today, Spartan Locke. It is my trust you must earn. Arbiter? You are a hunter, yes. A seeker of things. That's not the official job title, but it's close enough. And now you hunt other Spartans. I'm not so much hunting a Spartan as I'm hunting the Spartan. You seek. One, one, seven. I was not told the identity of your prey. That is why I'm sharing it with you now. We're talking about trust after the all. The subtitles are way off from when the dialogue's happening. May I ask you something? Your people used to call him demon. Was that an insult or a compliment? An insult to be sure, but one with a modicum of respect. He was indeed my enemy, but in time, I named him ally. Even friend. The events which forged this bond were complicated. How bizarre. I always forget that this happens at the start. It doesn't really link into Halo 5 at all, thinking about it. But holy shit, look at this. It looks incredible. I haven't played Halo 2 Anniversary since it, the Master Chief Collection came out, which I think was 2015. Let's have a look. It was November 2014 this came out. There was only one chip. One? Four years ago. Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar, Pillar of Autumn. Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. But I followed with all the ships in my command. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. no. Yet the humans were able to evade your this ships, scene. land on the sacred ring, and desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Noble hierarchs, surely you understand that once the parasite attacked, there will be order in this council. You were right to focus your attention on the flood, but this demon, this master chief. By the time I learned the demon's intent, there was nothing I could do. Noble prophet of truth, this has gone on long enough. Make an example of this bungler. The council demands it. You are one of our most treasured instruments. Long have you led your fleet with honor and distinction. But your inability to safeguard Halo was a colossal failure. I will continue my campaign against the humans. No, you will not. Oh. 
Soon the great journey shall begin. But when it does, the weight of your heresy will stay your feet, and you shall be left behind. And I don't know what I thought back in 2004 when this game came out, but they were obviously introducing us to a lot of the story of the Covenant, but I thought we would always experience that story through cutscenes, like a parallel storytelling, and then we would meet up maybe with some of these characters as Chief. ...throughout the gel layer. Optics are totally fried, and let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant. That's one good-looking Master Chief right there. And here we go, jumping into the game. You know, there's a, there's a lot to really talk about with Halo 2. I think, if I think about my top five most played games of all time, I think Halo 2 would be in that, purely just on the hours. Um, the, the pure hours that I put into this game. Well, I guess it was all obsolete anyway. Your new suit's a Mark VI. Just came up from Songnam this morning. So obviously Mark V is the suit we had in Halo 1, and this is the Mark VI. Okay, let's test your targeting first thing. Please look at the top light. Why did they make you do this on heroic difficulty? Alright, look at the top light again. That's it. Now the bottom one. Okay. Everything checks out. Stand by. I'm gonna offline the inhibitors. So of course this is the updated version. When you're ready, come meet me by the zapper. And now, I won't do this too much, but you can freely switch between these, which are the 2014 Halo 2 anniversary graphics, and you can freely switch back to the old Halo 2 graphics with one swift button press. And here we are. This is what the game looked like back in 2004. There's a lot more orange in this room than I remember. We will be playing mostly on Pay anniversary graphics. I'm only going over this once. This station will test your recharge. You can actually glitch this out where it keeps spinning and you me? leave. No, I'm not Come listening in, to you. I'll show you. So you can actually do this. Your new armor shields are extremely and... Very Oh, wow. That was a good fix. I remember back in the day you could activate you it from weird angles and like see, just keep running around the room. Faster. And here's Johnson. It, what I would refer to as a side character in Halo 1 who gets propelled to, you know, main character in this game. You done with my boy here, Master Guns? I don't see any training wheels. His armor's working fine, Johnson. You're free to go, son. Just remember, take things slow. Don't worry. I'll hold his hand. Okay. So, Johnson, when you gonna tell me how you made it back home in one piece? Sorry, Guns. It's classified. <laughs> My ass! Well, you can forget about those adjustments to your A2 scope. Well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him an invitation. This is another part that I really like, the comparison between what they did with the new graphics and the old. Earth. So you can see Earth out there, one of the other uh, stations right there. It's much darker in the remake. Much darker. The orbital defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look, the Cairo is just one of 300 geosync platforms. That Mac gun can put around clean through a Covenant capital ship. It's just insane. It's just, I really, really like what they did with the graphics. There's a few things that I don't massively appreciate. Like I feel like there's some changes graphically they made that don't make a lot of sense. But you know what? Overall, really happy with how this turned out as a as a remake. I know it's four years old now, but pretty damn good. I still want a Halo 3 remaster, but maybe we'll never get it. Maybe one day. Loading screens between cutscenes. What more can you ask for? This first level's pretty easy as well. I can get through the first, like, third up to half of this game pretty quickly. Which makes me think this will only be two or three streams maximum. But, um, I, yeah, I have a target in my head where I want to get up to tonight. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get. You told me there wouldn't be any cameras. And you told me you were going to wear something nice. Folks need heroes, Chief, to give them hope. So smile, would you? 
Well, we still got something to smile about. I'll try to be as quiet as possible in this cutscene because most of the time my mouth is just agape with how incredible they look. And again, picking back up in the Covenant story as well. I like how they reuse some of the older Halo models in this game. So a lot of the grunts and jackals and such are actually from Reach and other Halo games. They, they do that, like the Warthog model is from Halo 4, things like that. But the elites, the elite models in this game, I think the brutes are the same as well actually. The elite models are like perfect high def renditions of the um, the elites from Halo 2. Because a lot, I was worried that they were just going to use like Reach or... Is there elites in Reach? Yeah, there's elites in Reach. It's ODST way that you only see dead bodies, right? Um, but in, later in the game, I'll switch between the graphic stars Gentlemen, and you can see just how close they are. Back. I really like some of the new models they Go did in ahead, this game. Cortana. Specifically, I really like Chief's model. His um, his armor looks great, especially in the cutscenes. But in game, it's a good upgrade too. You look nice. Thank you. And I'll be Sergeant quiet now. Major, the Colonial Cross is awarded for acts of singular daring and devotion for a soldier of the United Earth Space Corps. Let him be an example for all who would break our covenant. Commander Miranda Keyes, your father's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. His bravery in the face of impossible odds reflects great credit upon himself and the UNSC. The Navy has lost one of its best. I wonder how many months Blur Studios had to make these cutscenes. That's a question I'd love to ask whoever was the, like the art director even on these, like uprising them and, well, remaking them entirely, I should say. But if you put them side by side with the original cutscenes, they're so close in camera sure. movement and everything, but they just look Covenant like a Hollywood movie. It's insane. Just outside the kill zone. So that's, this is obviously how this game starts. The Covenant fleet has arrived in our solar system, and Earth is our last line of defense. Yes, sir. You have the mech gun, Cortana. As soon as they come in range, open up. Gladly. Something's not right. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Sir, additional contacts. Boarding craft and lots of them. They're going to try to take our Mac guns offline. Give their capital ships a straight shot at Earth. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. Here we go. So the big new change with this game is lots of new weapons. So if you saw my Halo 1 playthrough last year, you'll know that in that game you have the assault rifle, the pistol, sniper rifle, covenant weapons, lots of little things. But there's so many more in this game. And there's lots more things you can do with them. Obviously this is the battle rifle. This is the new um, kind of like multi-shot rifle that you have. And I have to get used to the controls too. And the other thing is you now have dual wielding. So if I shoot one, I can reload my, you know, right weapon separately to my How do I re how do I reload this one? It won't reload. I'm pretty sure you Oh, there we go. No, yeah, you can reload them separately. Now I remember. Or you can reload them both at the same time. Really cool mechanics. I really like what they did with weapons in this game. It's a really cool change. And another really interesting thing, I've been showing the differences between Halo um, 2 originally and the anniversary version. This is a really good spot as well. You can see just how much more definition is in the MCC collection. Master Chief Collection Collection? The, yeah, the, the anniversary remake is... You know, they did some really cool things with the graphics. I forget how dark and dull this room looks in the original graphics, but... 
Like I said, not going to focus too heavily on the changes. And yeah, I should remember this is on Heroic. I love dual wielding. Dual wielding is such a good addition. Oh. And that voice right there is... Um, Anna Lucia from Lost... Uh, Michelle Rodriguez, that's her name. She's also well known for lots of other roles, including Fast and Furious. But Michelle Rodriguez is in this game. She's in a cutscene, actually. You'll hear her as well. And Nathan Fillion. You hear so many actors just as, like, Marines and separate roles. It's very cool. So, dual SMGs aren't great for ripping through shields, which elites obviously have. But I thought I would just use them for a little bit and start taking out the elites. Right, let's go noob combo. I think it's time for noob combo. Because why not? I use noob combo a lot in Halo 1 as well. I use that with uh, plasma pistol and um, pistol. That's a really good combo. I just remember the day this game came out, I got the Steelbook version of this game. I still got the exact same version from 2004. And um, I was ill the day I got it, so I got to play it like all day. Didn't have to deal with school, which is nice. I knew you'd still be here, you little elite bugger. Alright, now, was there another grunt? Oh, he's down here. See, it's just a grunt. Oh, there is an elite here. I thought I could hear an elite. The elites speak English in this game, which was a first for the series as well. Although the series was only two games long at this point, it's now many, many, many more than that. If you count the spin-offs, uh, like Spartan Strike and other things like that, as well as games like Halo Wars and, you know, there's so many now. Reload. Just even little things like this corridor with the flames. Look how different the mood is. Cutting between the two. Crazy. And obviously, that when they when we do this cut between old and new graphics, you've got to remember as well the the aspect ratio was four by three back in the day. Like you know, cut this screen in half, basically put black bars on each side of the screen. That's how it would have looked. And here we start seeing the boarding party rooms. These hangar bay sort of areas where the boarding craft attach onto. I think these are pelican bays, aren't they? Yeah, and you can, they, they get dropped out of them. Or they can fly out. Who knows? But yeah, there's a pelican right here. The correct design for the pelican. Let's not talk about what 343 did to the pelican. Now, how do you switch? Oh, okay. So it's D-pad switches. Okay, cool. Any more coming out of there? There's still a grunt alive. No, I think hey, good. Check it out. The Malta's already driven up its borders. Malta, what is your status? Over. I don't believe it! They're retreating! We won! This is bad. Real bad. I love that aftershock that happens so much later than the actual explosion we see. Very cool. Uh, heroic isn't too tricky. Uh, there's a few little areas later in the game where I know brutes are going to be an issue. But for the most part, heroic won't be that much of a trouble. I'll probably have a little bit of trouble with jackal snipers even on this difficulty. But um, 
you know, it, it makes the game not as easy as, say, heroic of uh, normal, because normal is a little bit too much of a breeze. Heroic feels a little bit more like how it should be played. Oh, God. Well, there's the first death. I pressed the wrong button to melee. Not used to these controls yet. Melee is there. I've got it now. Get that shield down. Get the red elite. And the blue elite must be around here somewhere. There he is. Got melee this time and didn't- Oh god! Right. Backing up. Backing up. As well, the big difference from Halo, to Halo 1 and Halo 2 is that instead of a health system, you now just have a pure shield system. So, instead of having uh, the health along the top with the shields protecting you, a second death, you now just have the shield and then like some sort of backup health that you can take damage on. But I'm also very used to just replaying parts like from checkpoints in this game. Like It doesn't bother me. I've played this game so many times that... I can just kind of do it blindfolded almost. Whoa, wait. Red Elite. Red Elite. I like their design a lot in this game, but he just fell into a box, so maybe not. Throw some grenades in there. Get them cleared out. I think we're good. So you can see here. Oh, there's still someone alive. Who's alive? Yeah, it's a. It's a. Okay. I thought his shields were down. We're doing really well. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the elite model, but we'll wait. We'll wait. Let's not rush in this time. I'm pretty happy about that shield being gone actually this early. Now, I always thought more Covenant came out of this tube if you cleared out the previous wave, but some of the other enemies were still- Yeah, see? Maybe that's a proximity thing, I'm not sure. Damn it. Well, we got him. Oh, wow. That elite's on top of a box. A lot more interactive AI like this in this game as well. They'll climb over things. Some of them will even- like, pursue you down. A little bit like the gold elites in Halo 1. Uh, the brutes are very interesting because they, um, they just go mad on you, basically. They go berserk at a certain point and they just chase you down. Alright, I'm out of BR ammo, which is not good. Let's pick up a new one of this. Nothing going on up there. There's still an enemy left. It's an elite, which scares me a little bit. We got him. Uh -oh. Hey, they're leaving the Athens. The Athens, and there that one goes. That's two space stations down. Cortana, assessment. That explosion came from inside the Athens. Same as the Malta. The Covenant must have brought something with them. A bomb. So you can see here, here, if we switch back the Elite models back Why? in the day, I think they look really great. I loved how the Elites looked in Halo 2. Uh, there's a, I don't know, a real definition to their shape and their form. And I really like how they remade them for this game. They didn't just throw in some, you know, cheap other model from another game. Now down here is a little worrying. I don't have BR right now. So I'm going to have to go... I think I'm going to go dual plasma rifle. There's going to be invisible elites down here. So we want to rip through the enemies in here as quickly as we can. It's Joe Staten as the voice of the grunts. Okay, we're good. Got a checkpoint. We, can, we have BR now. That's good. Now there is gonna there the invisible elites. He wasn't that invisible this time. One at the other side? Nope. 
Now, if you remember Master Guns, the guy who gave us our armor, well, that was his death right there. And that was my death right there. But yes, there's another invisible elite there too. I'm going to have to deal with him. I think I'm going to just switch over to the other side. What? What just happened? Wow. I don't know what happened to the elite I was fighting in the first place. This is going really well. Right, he's dead. Now, this guy on this side. There he is. They're really difficult to see. But we can get him. Come on. There, his shield started regening so quick then. We got him. Right, let's go BR. Master Guns up here is doing this. Let's, we don't have any ammo for grenades, but hey. We may have got one of them. I don't know. I'm going back. Could do with a pretty strong weapon for this bit. Well, we got one of the elites. The second elite is running into a wall. Which is always a good sign. We got him. Well, Master Guns had a shotgun on him, so let's pick that up. It's a good-looking shotgun, too. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that other grunt got a turret up. We're clear here. Just for a little while. And throw it. Whew. See what I mean by this is, it feels much better to be playing on this difficulty rather than Legendary, which would just be constant utter deaths every four seconds. At least it's only every five seconds on this one. That grunt just moved by himself. And again, this area looks so flat and different in the old style, like this, compared to what they did with the anniversary graphics, which is this. You can even hear the sound difference as well. They remastered all the sounds for this game. It's crazy. I'm going to hang on to the shotgun just for a little while longer. Uh, BR rounds. There's a pistol. The pistol's really interesting in this game because it's pretty weak. It's uh, nowhere near as strong as Halo 1's pistol. Uh, we're, back. we're here. This is an area I know all too well. So that is Miranda Keys, who's Captain Keys' daughter, who we saw in the opening cinematic. She is trying to get to her ship right now, which is parked outside. We got a stick. I'm going to go into cover. And we're trying to get her to the ship. And she's obviously the daughter of Captain Keys, who was the captain of the Pillar of Autumn from the first game. There is her ship in amber clad. See in the old game. New game. We'll see it better once we're outside. Now, there are going to be ranger elites that come in here. Authorized personnel only. These are ranger elites, and we are in zero G right now. That was a bad throw. I wanted it right on the door. The other one is up there. Look, look at him. Dancing about up there. No, we stuck him on the face. He's a dead elite. Is there just two? Left? There's one left now. Here we go. I'm going after him. Yeah. 
See you later, Elite. Probably did a good chunk of damage to him. You're irrationally annoyed about something stupid. Uh, I mean, I can't send you Chewy right now because I'm streaming, but I'll send you Chewy after the stream. Chief, get to the bomb, double time. Cortana, prioritize targets and fire at will. Even like the sounds of zero G are totally different. I love the um, kind of the the muffled sounds. It's great. So this is the front of Inamber Clad right here. We can jump up here, get a good sense of scale for the whole frigate here. There we go. It's beautiful. I love the new graphics so much. Oh hey, you're both here. Welcome. First echelon, you're with me. Blanket those cruisers. Take them out one by one. Second echelon. Right, we're gonna be ready for this bit because we're about to get about a million bugs fly in our face, and I seriously mean a million bugs. Oh! I'm dead. I am dead. Whew. Right, let's trigger them again, and then let's run away. Please, yeah, that triggered. Here we go. These are drones, one of the new Covenant enemies in the game. The first Covenant enemy run across, unless you count <laughs> the different types of elites. They are really strong. Like, they all just spam plasma pistol bolts at you, so, like, getting into cover and hiding is really tricky. I'm gonna try hiding over here. I'm just gonna let them do their own thing. Oh, there's one on that back wall. Gotta be real careful. Okay. Oh. Try not to die. Okay, I'm alive. The bugs are all dead. Still got shotgun. Now are they? Co yeah, they're coming up in here, are they? I hate this. There's so many enemies all at once. It's such, it's really fun, but man, if you know like where they're gonna spawn and when it's gonna happen, you can really start making the timings and figuring them out. Oh, we got that elite. Red elite. He takes three shotgun bolts. That was not good. Whew. We got him. We got achievable. Were it so easy. Kill a thousand elites. I've killed a thousand elites. Would you know that? Who would have thunk it? I love this as a view because this is the new graphics, obviously, but then old graphics. Just insane. New graphics. I love it. I love it. And then if we look back this way, this is new graphics, old graphics, new graphics, old graphics. I really like what they did with Hilla 2 Anniversary. If we ever get to be a really big community, you put I put you in charge of something. I very much doubt this will ever become anything very big. But sure, if the day comes where there's more than 10 viewers, because then it's a community, right? Then sure. The carriers are breaking through, sir. Let's do They're that. For the Cairo. Cortana, concentrate your fire on the first carrier. Admiral, do what you can against the second. Everyone Gotta take out this guy first. I should really have taken a plasma pistol, I think, um, instead of the shotgun, because we're going to be doing a lot of ranged battles soon. I need to take out the turret guy, really. Got him. The first carrier completely ignored us, sir. Blew through the Malta's debris field and headed straight for Earth. Missed that guy, too. I just love flicking back and forth with the graphics sometimes. It's just crazy. 
Can you believe this is what it, 2004 looked like? The entirety of like 2004 and 5 for me looked like this. And then 2014 happened! Oh god, there's another one. We need to get into cover. Oh! Okay, I'm alive. Alright, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna get squashed. Oh god, I might get squashed even in here. What am I gonna do? Okay. Am I safe here? I think so. We need to get how where why am I why am I all the way down here? How do I get back up? What have I done? I like how free you can just like wander around. Oh we can just probably walk up here. Yeah. Do you feel like you've been shafted? Well, I mean, in big communities, there are so many people that, like, I feel like sometimes you can feel like you're the perfect person for that role, but then you don't get picked for it. I mean, I ran into that issue a lot with Fire UK. Like, people would come to me being like, why didn't you choose me to do this? Or why didn't you choose me to do that? And it was just like, I had specific people in mind for uh, certain time lapses or certain things. But what I would usually do is down the line is give them like a... Like what? Like a co-running task? So they were like Let's second in command, or they were leading one of the sub teams, or something. Um, which I think is, uh, you know, a good way of doing it. This is the end of the level, so if I don't reply, I'm just focusing. But I totally get it. Like it must be really annoying, like especially if no one else put the name forward, because. With Fire UK stuff back in the day, there was so many people being like, Oh, let's do this time lapse. I have this idea and all this sort of stuff. And um, that can be really crazy if it's almost like an overwhelming number of people wanting like to be involved. But if there was, if there was not like other people... Even so, I still think because you're so good with people and stuff, that like, um, you still would have beat out the other people anyway because you know what you're doing, basically. <laughs> No offense to the other people, but. Bounce this over here. Oh, I don't have any ammo on that one. Oh, stop chasing me down. Is that it? Did we do it? There might be one more. There might be one more. No, I think we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. End of the level. End of the level. Go. End of the level. Please. He's just stood there! <laughs> just Red Elite stood there. What was he doing? Whew. Me inside your head now. How much time was left? You don't want to know. Pyro, this is an Emberclad. The carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Negative, Commander. Not against a ship that size. Not on your own. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Love that line. Permission granted. Yeah, we used to have different people who would run um, different events at different times. Mainly we would have a UK-based community night and a US-based community night, and then the US, we, I'd give it to like one of the US guys, um, they'd run the uh, the US crazy. stuff, so, like if we did game nights. Unfortunately for us both, I like crazy. But for time lapses, we always just went off UK time, because obviously I was recording them, so. How awesome are these cutscenes? I love it. Question. What if you miss? I won't. I think this is what my head remembered Halo 2 looking like before Blur did these cinematics. And man, did they recapture the infinite 
amazement I felt when I first saw some of the cutscenes in Halo 2. Like this, even in Halo 2 itself, the original looked insane. But now, it's on another level. For a brick, he flew pretty good. For a brick, he flew pretty good. Chief, get inside, gear up. Yeah, this is what it's like when you watch a movie with me, especially if I've seen it many times before. I just start saying the lines before they actually happen. <laughs> On to outskirts. Now, this is the only level I'm gonna partially glitch, okay? Just. I'm going to play the rest of the game mostly normally. It's just, I think Outskirts is a really interesting level because of how glitchable it is and how easy it is to do. Like, you can glitch this level by pretty much sneezing in the wrong place. It's so easy to glitch. So I'm going to glitch the first half of this level and then I won't glitch out of any other levels or anything. I might show some secrets in other levels. Um, but yeah, when, you, when you've played a game as much as I've played... Halo 2, it becomes a, a thing to just not play the first half of this level. Regret. Catchy. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Regret is in vain, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier and he's calling for help. <laughs> Kilo 2-3 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recon. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Mr. Chief, get aboard that carrier. Secure the Prophet of Regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That Prophet is going to tell us why. Scarab incoming. Whoa. It's time we go take down a scarab. Should I start CPR? What's going on? Shake it off, Marines! Clear the crash site! Go, go, go! They'll regret that, too. This is another level that they did some great work with the lighting on, because originally it's quite flat, almost like an off-green yellow color, but then as soon as you flick over, like, it's much more of an orange and beige tone. It looks like, you know, sun-baked streets. It's great. And sure, you are you are com man, but you com man yourself. You are the community. So that's it. That's the glitch. I just did it. You may have blinked and you didn't see it. I've glitched out of the level. I'm d and there's a skull up here. This is the blind skull. Um, one of the many skulls in the game. There's some grenades right there. This is the blind skull hidden out of here. Uh, and I think Bungie originally managed like be like, oh, you just go up here and that's it. But no, you can get way more out of this level by doing very few things. And now we are far, far from the play area. They're the enemies down there. I can still shoot them. That's how far away from the play area. Look, things are just floating now. This is what it used to look like. It's alright, I can do tech support myself and finances aren't a thing. So you're good. But yeah, here we are, on top of the level. That building wasn't even there in the original. But this is the original Halo 2 out here. Now, I'm going to try to do a grenade throw. I don't know how good I'm going to be at doing this, but hey. There we go. Did it first try. Nice. 
I haven't done that in years. This is what I mean by so far out of the level. Like, just look at how far out of the level I am. Like, the play space is all down there. That's why Halo 2 is awesome. You can do stuff like this. There's a hidden weapon around here, which I think it's a little bit further on. But this is an area of the level which is really difficult on Legendary because Sniper Jackals spawn all the way over here, over on this side, and all the way below me on this building. And you are coming down this hallway right here. And it's like pew, 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 You just get sniped to death. You don't really live. I also, when I was about, well, how old would I have been in 2004? I would have been 12 when this game came out. When I was about 13, I made a, um, a song. To, or like a music video song earth. to um, to Blinded by the Light. That's a song I haven't heard in a while. I can't remember where this... Um, there's a hidden sword around here and I forget where it is. I think it's back the other way. Oh no, there it is. I see it. So there is a little Covenant sword right in here. Here it is. Just a pile of blood in the original. There it is. The Rex Sword. I haven't got this in years. Many. Oh! Shit, there's an achievement for this. 2% of people have got this. Wow. Look at that. And yeah, that's the area right there in the original graphics. See, that's why you're good at people stuff because you foresee issues before they actually happen. You sure you aren't a psychic? I'm pretty sure you're a psychic. Come here, white elite. I'm gonna get you. Specialists, right? White elites. I think that's... Oh. Brown box right there. Oh. In the original, there's a barrier here and I was just shooting it. The barrier isn't visible from this side. Yeah, it's only one-sided. I love this little attention to detail right here. This is Hotel Zanzibar, by the way. Hotel Zanzibar. Right here. This is a reference to Halo ODST. The intendant, attendant, whatever, of um, Mombasa right here. The caretaker, that's a good way to say it. And that doesn't even exist in the original graphics. These are the original graphics. Nada. And this hallway is super dark in original graphics, too. And they uh, brightened it up a little bit. Which is nice. And now I'm going to throw a grenade. That was a, bad, a bit too early. Well, they died, so I'm good. Uh-oh. I need to reload. And then this. I remember when I first played this in 2014. This... Anniversary remake. It looks so incredible here. Like what they did from the old, very flat, pixelated graphics to so these new, still 2D graphics, but they really improved it here. <laughs> hey, hello, flying grunt. That was a good grenade. And the Warhog just rolled up for us. Go on an adventure. Special hey, don't worry about it. Anarchies. Chat is there to chat. If you want to talk about things that are slightly controversial, it's fine. We can talk about them. So this is the Halo 4 Warthog, by the way. It's the Halo 4 model. I actually really like it. It's one of the... They made it look a lot more like a... A weathered, kind of battle-worn vehicle. Which I like. Alright, let's go. The First vehicle segment of Halo 2. Oh, that was close. There's another one. 
Look at this. This is just incredible. And that right there is the Momba the big Mombasa bridge, which is um, we're going to be heading to. Let's just ignore this area entirely. Let's go straight for the tunnels. This tunnel links up to the bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. But it beats swimming. But it sweep beats swimming indeed. I always got confused by that line when I was younger. Oh god, we're on fire. Oh god, we're on fire. Go back to Xbox graphics. We look less on fire than Xbox One graphics. We are very on fire. We're very on fire! It's our first glimpse of the scarab again. Going overhead. Kick them all down. Get them. See you later, ghosts. Just sneak past them. This is one of the levels that I feel like you can really glitch the most. Because really, you can you can either skip past so much of it, or just speed past it like this, like just rush past it, which I think is quite good. Because it gives you a sense of urgency. I always felt that with this level is that it's a very urgent level. Right, we're going to do something stupid. We're going to go up on the side. The covenant must be trying to regroup. Don't let them. Got him up good. I can't see a thing, but I, I guess we're going the right way. We're nearly done with this level. This was easily the quickest level. It was quicker than the first level by a, a long shot. Actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a new Warthog down here. This could be also in the next level. That's the next level. There's a there's a passage like this um, in one of the tunnels in the next level. There's another Warthog in there. Here we go. This is the last area of Covenant on the level up. Oh, well, that was a fail. I think you have to go around the the other side of this, like this. Yeah, there we go. Can I imagine you with a movie night? Yeah, you'd play weird movies. No, you'd be. The thing is, like, you'd be good at all that sort of stuff. So it, it surprises me that. Another person in another community doesn't want you to do that sort of stuff. You'd play like very nerdy movies, wouldn't you? On a movie night. You've got a fairly nerdy movie like. That's not a sentence, Matt. No, sir. Then listen up. When I joined the Corps, we didn't have any fancy schmancy tanks. We had sticks, two sticks and a rock for a whole platoon. And we had to share the rock. Buck up, boy. You're one very lucky Marine. What about that scare? We all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master Chief. He'll know what to do. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. Oh, I know what the ladies like. 
Johnson still being a badass. Again, cutting back to the old graphics here. Um, I'm very, very fond of how this level looks in the old graphics. The sky, the mood, I think it looks great. I think they made it maybe a little bit too light in the remake. I think it looks a little bit like the same time of day as the level we've just done. Like, I feel like this is a little bit closer to sunset. So. Anyway, this is, again, I believe this is Halo 4's tank, Scorpion. Um, with a hatch and things. I think it is. Maybe altered slightly. But, yeah. Anyway, let's get these on. We've got Michelle Rodriguez with her battle rifle and the dude with a rocket launcher. Let's go. Let's churn along the bridge. Old graphics, new graphics. Let's do this. I mean, this thing could use a speed up button. Do go, do, do, does going for a run calm you down? I was going to say, does running calm you down, but I changed what I was going to say mid-sentence. I imagine going for a run would make me really angry. I'd be, I'd be like, really hyped up. I would want to, like, um... And I'd probably want to punch something after a run. I've never ran in my life, clearly. God, I love this level. Uh, today as well, I haven't talked about this yet, Bandai Namco had a live stream today where they announced some new Gundam games. They announced some new DLC for Gundam Versus, which I haven't played yet. I've just bought it, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, announced a new Switch Gundam game, or I think it's a port of one of the current Gundam games. And then they revealed Gundam Breaker 4, basically, a new Gundam Breaker. Now, I love Gundam Breaker because it's a game where you're controlling a, a Gunpla, which is a, a plastic Gundam model, in fights. And, like, parts of your plastic armor can get flung off and such. They're really fun little hack and slash games. And they're building this one for PS4, and it looks amazing. Uh, it was really fun. I actually got... I did, like, live translations from Japanese uh, while the stream was happening uh, for the people over on Resetera. And then um, I also did a bunch of writing up, and then I got the main topic on the gaming forum, Resetera, as well, for the new game. It was good fun. It was good fun. Oh, we got Banshees. Oh, that's a dead Banshee now. I'm just driving into a pole. Gotta get rid of these turrets on this. Oh, wow, he's dropping a Wraith too. Can we take out that Wraith? Yeah. We got ghosts coming. God, this, it just makes you feel like such a badass when you're driving down a huge bridge just destroying everything. I'm blowing everything up right now. The world is exploding in front of me. Can you not see all of the fiery, blazing explosions of glory? Look at it. It's the best. And the music! The music swells! It's so good. I think we've killed more enemies in this level alone than the entirety of Halo 1. That's quite a welcome party. Banshees. Now one of these Banshees you can actually draw into the tunnel we're about to enter, take it through to the next area of the game, fly it up to the top of the level, and find a hidden weapon called the Scarab Gun. Now, I'm not going to do that, because it takes quite a long time to, let's say, coax. Coax a banshee through a tunnel. It, it's not an easy process. It's this tunnel right here. And it takes a while, so I've decided I'm not going to do it. Um, but I might do it in my own time. I may even do it like after the stream in my own time. Because I don't think I've ever got the achievement on Master Chief Collection for getting the Scarab Gun. If, I think there's an achievement for it. Now there's two wraiths on us. And there's another banshee as well. Two two more banshees. I forgot that I had it a, a little machine gun turret. I forgot we had that. 
See if we can shoot this. Yeah, that was a good shot. That was a bit too late. Oh, he moved on that one. He's dead. Well, the tank's um, looking a little worse for wear. But let's go into the tunnels and into the second half of this mission. Which, really, this has only been a third. There's so much more to this mission. Oh. Ground soldiers. You can't take this tank much further, anyway. But this is where you'd have to coax the Banshee down. It would, like, follow you down here. You'd have to keep bringing it with you. The entire way. All the way down here. All the way through this tunnel. All the way through the next section, and then another section. It's kind of a long ride. We'll come back and get that Warthog in a second if it doesn't follow us. Come on, follow us. Yeah, there we go. We'll take that through to the next area, because I think we can glitch that through. And by glitch that through, I think you can just drive it through. Uh, one thing they did here in the remake is they took a lot of the color away of these big door things. I'm not sure why. I've never understood this. But these doors are much more yellow and gray here. It's tight quarters on the other side, sir. Use this. Use what? A shotgun? You want me to take your shotgun? I have this. I brought this from the last level. Don't you know how video games work? But yeah, these they, they made these doors really gray. And I don't know why. But hey. I'm not using your shotgun. I got a sword. Crazy lady. Actually, I don't need a sword. I got a BR. Come at me. Come at me, elite. Wait, where, where you at? Where did, where did you go? Oh, God, I forgot. Oh, my God. Sword physics on Halo 2. Hey, Alex. How's it going? Welcome to Halo 2. We can take the Warthog through, actually. Let's do that. Come on. Get in. Alright, see you later, then. Do you want to get in? The, do you want to get in? This is where things start. Alright, see you later. I'm going. Oh, Jackal Snipers! Jackal Snipers are here! This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Jackal Snipers. What is this? What is that? Why was there a hidden elite there? I've never seen that guy before. That was bizarre. I should go through this normally. We're on heroic. I should stop messing around. We're not on, like, an easy difficulty. We are out of Let's BR go, ammo. Let's go, super friends. Uh, can I, can I give you... Hey, wait, wait, what, that was a grenade. You mean little grunt. Yeah, I'm playing in modern graphics, yeah. Um, I'm switching back and forth a little bit. Um, show, but I, I really, really like what they did with Halo 2 Anniversary. So, out, yeah. Playing in modern graphics. Mainly, the main reason I'm playing in modern graphics is purely because of the CG cutscenes, which I think are some of the best Halo things ever produced. I love them. Here he is. It's the invisible dude again. What are you, what are you doing back here, eh? Oh, I stuck the sniper jackal! That was a good throw. That was not as good as a throw as that grunt. He had a much better throw than me. Yep, I'll just hide here. Yep, just hide behind this truck. Get sorted. Who's shooting me? Who's... 
Whew. That was too close. Uh, I think I'm going to drop the, um, the sword for the beam rifle here. The sword was a good friend to us. I'm out of BR ammo already. There's a couple of jackals here that I'm going to try beating up. They're probably going to kill me. There we go. So this is all the way where you have to bring the Banshee to. And then you have to bring it through here. This is if you want to use the Banshee in the next level. Next section of the level. Bring it all the way over here. All the way up this tunnel. And then here, you can then get in the Banshee. You can board it and take it. And fly it off in this area. Which then... Takes... You fly up to... Up there, and there is a plasma rifle up there that shoots the same beam as the scarab. And now talk of the devil of said scarab. Yo, hey grunt, go away. Is there is said scarab? There is it in normal graphics, and there it is in modern graphics. Well, let's take out some enemies. I'm being sniped because there's lots of jackals. Snipers. <laughs> there's so many. Oh, he's... Did he fall? Where did he even... What the... How did you get... How, what was that all about? I don't know if there's any over this way. I don't think there are. I don't know where that... Where is that red elite? Where are you going? Going up here. Another jackal sniper. And that pushed him down. Okay, cool. Uh, we can probably pick up another beam rifle. How is there more jackal snipers? And that's red elite down. We're pretty much clear. Oh, there's two ghosts though. I'm not going to deal with ghosts very well with a sniper rifle. Is that a gauze turret on the back of that warthog? It is. Wow, I didn't know we had gauze turrets this early in the game. Got another sniper. He just shot me. How the hell did he get that shot? I'm going down. That warthog is in not great condition there. Not great condition at all. Wait, 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 ho, ho. All right, Jackal, calm down. You right there, friend? How are you feeling in old graphics? Yeah, I feel the same. I can hear the Warthog. I don't know what it's doing, though. Oh, it's just driving off. See you later. Oh, there's a ghost here. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're about to die. Just thought I'd let you know. Boom. 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 I, if you don't move, I'm going to die. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Right. That's good. Yeah, that's great. We lost this already. How long did we have that warthog for? A millisecond and he died. Now we gotta fight a wraith with only a ghost. And two of the ghosts. Jesus. Well, he died. Okay, cool. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. I'm going. That didn't work very well. Get back in. The I'm dead. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll board the wraith now. Oh, what? It put me all the way back here. Thanks, game. Thanks. Right, we need to take out as many of the jackal snipers as we can. One's already got his sights on me. 
And we should probably get in that Warthog turret a little bit earlier as well, like right about now. Use you on the gun, Chief. Let's go. Let's go! Let's see how well this AI drives. God, I love the Gauss turret so much. Or Gauss, as I've also heard it pronounced. Gauss, 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 I don't know. However you want to say it, it's a turret that shoots like high velocity awesome looking rounds. What do you want me to say? Alright, in we go. Dude, move, 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 move. That was good. Great, perfect. Brilliant. I'm just a sitting duck. Well, that was, um, high velocity, let's call that. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I'm still reeling over that. Like, we span about 50 times in the air. Oh! Oh, God! Where did they even come from? Jesus. Are we done? Are we done trying to kill me? My god, that was insane. Do we have any... Did any ghosts survive? That's like just a front half. That's just a front half. Good. I may have hit the ghosts a little too hard. Just, just a front half. Okay. So I have no vehicle other than a warthog. What? How is there more ghosts? How? How do they keep spawning? What is happening? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go. Come here, ready. Ready player one, I'm coming for you. Taken out. Okay. Ghost decided to do a weird flip. That's cool. I like how this feels like a city here. It very much like with the tall buildings and everything. I think it's very cool. So I think, I don't know if you need the Banshee for this, but over here, I don't know if I'll be able to see it. It's in this building right here. I think you do probably need the uh, the Banshee for it, but there's a football somewhere in there, like a soccer ball. Black and white ball in there somewhere. There are a number of Marines trapped in that building. All right, we're gonna go after these Jackal Snipers. These side streets are really weird as well because they're like never used. But as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. There's a few marines. Uh, I believe this is a rocket, yeah. Which is why I came here. And yeah, there's like nothing else in here. It's weird. But if we run away a little bit, I can show you the new lock-on mechanism for Halo 2. Obviously it wasn't in Halo 1, and I think it's very cool. How many rockets does this Wraith want to take? I still remember the first time this was shown. Um, they were playing the level Zanzibar at E3. And it was the first time they were showing this game off. And we saw Elites were in multiplayer for the first time. We saw... Loads of other cool things. And one of the big things was that you could shoot um, rockets that would track enemy vehicles. It's a very cool feature. 
Did that other ring? Oh god. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> that wasn't terrifying or anything. Oh, hi ghost. Bungie sure like the name Ghost, don't they? From the little AI that follows you in Destiny all the way back to, well, this. I'm assuming they had other games with Ghost in it, but I can't remember anything in Marathon ever being called Ghost, but maybe there was. What just flew over us? Oh, it's a... Oh, nice. It's a... Pelican has come to help us defeat the evil wraith. Dig it out, Pelican. I'll just watch. It's, it's killing me. Kill it quicker. I'll shoot it in the back. It is still trying to... There we go. Badass music, too. Dyeing your hair what? Bright pink? Oh, there's something I actually haven't pointed out yet. Is terminals are in this game? They look like this. They're on different things. If you watch them, I'll, sh I'll show you. It takes you to um, the Halo channel that you have to install and stuff. And then you can watch little... Um, they're like really cool little 2D animated things that tell a story. Um... They're actually really cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of them through there. I've actually got them all, and I've watched all the little animations. They're really cool. As I've said a few times, they're really cool. And here we go. When I asked for reinforcements, I didn't think they'd send us far. You got trouble. And this is the huge difference between Halo 1 not Halo 1, Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. I think this area, especially with the city and everything, just really, really looks like just incredible. Also, they they renamed the name of the industries. Don't know why they did that. I don't think it's stopping. Set your heads down. He took a bit of a tumble. Guys, does anyone want to help this guy out? I think he's got a leg fracture or something. I mean, he could also be dead, but... You know, his leg's in a pretty... Pretty weird-looking position. Anybody? Any? Anybody? Medic? Med? No. Okay. I really like this part. I think it's really nice here. They got the mood, I think, really nice here with the setting sun and everything. It's very cool. Even little things like this. It's great. I'm a big, big fan of what they did with Halo 2 Anniversary. I think it's I think it's much better than Halo 1 Anniversary, that's for sure. Anyway, let's get ready. The Scarab is right below us. I'm going to pick up a couple of things. I don't need a sniper rifle. I do need a rocket launcher, though. And the music is kicked in. I don't need to do any of this. Let's go. I usually try to jump on it in the first one, but I was a bit slow today. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna die quite a lot. Why is there a sniper on here? Oh god, oh god. I died. 
close, but no cigar. Let's try to get on that first one this time. Let's speed up. What's the matter, you I should be able to get on. Right as the music kicked in. He sounded angry. Yeah, the volumetric lighting is so nice. Like, what they did was... It just brings it all to life. He's got a needler! He's got it. It's the first time we're seeing a needler. Oh, this is going to be a death. That guy didn't have a needler. The grunt did. Don't. No one come up here. I want this needler. Oh, there's a blue elite. Give me the needler. Where is it? Where did the needler... Did the needler fall through the level? You pesky little grunt. We'll get one. Look how many shots he's taking. My god. Hey, wait. No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm alive. I don't know why saying I am alive would stop someone from shooting me. I didn't think that one through. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, here we go. Get him out! God, I love dual wielding. Did a needler. Needler! That's the. We got four seconds of a needler right at the end of that. Actually, it was more like four frames. But I picked it up! Picked up one needler. That's right, you mothers! Run! Not if we can help it, Sergeant. Extract the chief and return to an amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the Prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. All Vector 2 heavies for star side intercept. Bam! Flip space rupture off the target's bow. It's gonna jump inside the city. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. <laughs> Without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. And there we go. The next mission. It's called the Arbiter. What is Ripple Fire? What the hell is that? Meet the par, beat the par score. Wow, I somehow beat the par, the par score <laughs> without trying. Uh, we're not going to do this next level. Um, as I said at the beginning, this is actually the goal of where I wanted to get up to. Uh, we're going to do this next bit next time. Uh, save and quit. We will pick it up right here uh, next time. But that isn't the end of the stream. Because, as I said at the beginning of the stream as well, I want to use these three, probably three, four Halo 2 streams to talk about some of the multiplayer levels in Halo 2. Now, Halo 2 is the first time I was ever excited for multiplayer. It's the first time I ever liked multiplayer. Um, it's great. It's really, really good. Uh, so we're going to talk about some of the maps. We're going to start with Ascension and Lockout today, and then we'll move on to Coagulation and some of the other ones later on. Uh, but here, let's uh, let's take yeah. Let's start with uh, Ascension, and then we'll do Lockout. Uh, I'm not gonna actually stream anything important like an actual multiplayer map. I just want to talk about the levels themselves. 
and this is of course going to be in old school graphics and then we'll cut to new school they're two different maps so um, but yeah halo 2 was a super super important time in my life i it came out when i was 12 um almost 13 and i played the bejesus out of it you might say as in i played levels like this and the other ones in Halo 2 for nearly two years non-stop waiting for Halo 3 to come out. I played it with friends, I made Machinima in it. Um, I, it's, this is one of the first places I, in this game I first started making content that I was getting paid for, um, which is over half my life ago I was getting paid for making content in this game. Um, and I'm very very fond of everything this game does. I, um, I love it. I love the multiplayer. And there's the needler. There is the needler. Beautiful. And this is, of course, the original graphics from the Xbox. Although it's scaled up a little bit and um, widescreen. This was originally in not widescreen. And we got plasma pistol. And we got the banshee. It's a cool little level, this one. Cool little level. But nothing super fancy about it. You could just fight. This was used a lot in um, one-sided ma one sided matches. Um, like Assault. Uh, and just as well, Team Slayer was really popular on this level. A lot of people, I remember, would go up here and do this. This is a big thing people used to do. And they'd sit up here and shoot people down there. Not with an SMG or a needler, though. That would be terrible. It wouldn't really work. And now we have dual needlers. So with the release of the Master Chief Collection, they decided to update Halo 2's multiplayer a little bit. They didn't redo all of the maps, but what they did decide to do is choose a selection of some of the favorites. And by selection, I mean six plus one. Yes, I know that's seven, but the plus one was DLC. And Master Chief Collection has a really bad um, history. Like, it didn't really work properly at launch. It still doesn't work great now. Um, interestingly, they have Zenith Zenith and... Halo Ascension Anniversary. I guess this is the one that's most closely like the original, and Zenith is the more recreation. I'll show you this one, because they added a few kind of interesting things to this. So... Wait, I don't want Team Slayer. No, I want Normal Slayer. Give me... Give me Normal Slayer. It's the way to go. Well, it's not. Like, if I'm playing the game, it's not going to be Normal Slayer. I like teams. But this is Zenith, which is the recreation of Ascension. And they added, uh, to a lot of these maps, they added like a really interesting function, something you could activate or do or change. Uh, I think it's like, I can at least think two or three of them that this happens on. Uh, and this being one of the more obvious things that you can do where they activate something. This, in my opinion, I think they made this also look a little bit too shiny. Um, you'll see when I get in game, it's very, it's very shiny. Compared to what we just played, this is... You know how they made it look in uh, Halo 2 multi anniversary multiplayer. They give you options of how to spawn, and this is how it looks. Let's pick up a needler. Yeah, this is how this level looks in Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer. It's the same level, just fancier in almost every way. Look, look at it. It's damn fancy. And now we got dual wield needlers. And then up here, there is this. So if we activate this, you now get this kind of bubble shield in the center. This is one of the cool little things they added. 
And you can enter this, but you can't shoot in or out of it. But it looks pretty awesome. And then, of course, there is the Banshee. This is the Halo 4 Banshee they put in here. But I think, in my opinion, this 4 in our architecture is a little bit too 343. Three. It's a little bit too Halo 4, Halo 5. Um, and it doesn't really conform exactly to the old style. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice. But yeah, I think it's a little, maybe a little too shiny. And of course, the hidden area up here is kind of gone. You'd have to land on one of these bits right here. But it's nice. It's a nice upgrade. Now, one of the most popular maps in original Halo 2 for Slayer, Team Slayer, Assault. I remember playing One Flag CTF on it a lot. There were so many great game modes on this next map, which is Lockout. Now, God, I, I made so many videos using Lockout. I made, I played so many levels playing. Like I said earlier, if we categorize my top five most played games purely on hours spent in the game... Halo 2 would have to be up there. There's no way of me tracking it because there's no way of tracking like old game stats. But from the amount of time I pl actually played multiplayer in this game, which is a very rare thing for me to do, I spent hours playing it. And then on top of that, I spent... Oh, no, wait, I launched Ascension. I didn't mean to launch Ascension. Launch Lockout. That's the one we're looking at. And yeah, like the hours I spent making videos, taking screenshots filming machinima uh, and playing the multiplayer with my friends is insane it was really 2004 to 2005 every single day after school every single weekend every single day of the holidays i was in halo 2 playing it Slayer. i loved this game probably a little too much probably a little too much but that was you know I was different in, in 2004. But yeah, this level's great. It's got a lot of really cool trick jumps. There's a lot of videos I remember from back in the day of people just doing amazing parkour on this level because you can just jump around and do amazing things on this level. It's built uh, as kind of a two to three story system as well. Everything's kind of tiered. So you have drop downs to lower areas, higher sections where you can snipe down, snipe across. And this is the grab lift room, which is a really interesting choke point because people would throw grenades here like crazy. But you can drop down here and jump in this way. This is the flood corridor or the green corridor where there are all these kind of flood looking green, evil looking chambers. A lot of horror machinima back in the day would use this room. I remember that very vividly. And generally a really great level like from a, a gameplay standpoint this is one of my favorite just non-vehicular levels and this is drop shoes down back into that green room you've got the sword down here sword was a big thing back in the advertising and the run-up to halo 2 it was a, a very interesting thing to see it kind of take over the world because everyone wanted to use the sword in halo 2 in Halo 1, and we they always evaporated when you killed a, a Sword Elite. But we finally got to use them in Halo 2. Interestingly, this glass does not break. You'll see why I'm pointing that out. Maybe you won't see why I'm pointing that out. I can't remember what they did. <laughs> Actually, maybe I do remember what they did. End game. So, game obviously, being such a popular map. Now, Halo 2 had a lot, a large selection of maps. Especially with the DLC. It, there was a lot of multiplayer maps. And I would say that at least 80% of them were really good. Maps like Headlong, I remember vividly. Um, and I don't think they made Headlong. They remade it. I think it was a Halo... Was it Halo Reach remade? Headlong? Anyway, if you look at all the maps in Classic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. 1, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Now, these two are both from Halo 2 Vista, which was the Halo 2 PC port, which this version is based off of in some respects. Um, in a lot of respects. Terminal is one of my favorite levels. Relic is one of my favorite levels. 
Um, Containment is one of my favorite levels. Uh, I like what works, even though it's a bit eh. Headlong is probably my favorite level in this game. Coagulation is also a great remake of um, Blood Gulch. Zanzibar is really good. Burial Mounds is hit and miss. Ivory Tower I remember a lot. But I just showed you Lockout. To end the stream, let's jump over to Anniversary and check out Lockdown. We've had Lockout. This is Lockdown. And we're game we'll play the non-anniversary version, so the version we got originally at launch. As the developers of the anniversary version intended. Again, it's that much shinier um, Forerunner tech, Forerunner structure style, but they made this level's very pink as well. And that was a. I remember back on the gaming forums that before this game came out, people would complain about how pink this level is. I think I've grown to like it because obviously when it snows, it's usually orange and pinks in the sky, uh, especially like it's orange at night, pink in the day. That's usually what happens with with snow, and. Um, also sunset like creates kind of a pinkish hue so i think that's what they were going for with this level um as you can see still based in a very similar environment it's snowy it's built into the cliffside the sword is still here you know lots of very similar things let's head down to the green room so this looks a little different all of these cells have got creepy looking flood forms in them Really great, just designs overall. They did a really good job with these. And these are kind of new barriers up here to kind of block sites out. This is a more expanded, some much larger platform down here. And obviously the skybox is incredible as well. They did a lot with this. Go up this way. Sniper tower. And now if you remember last time I was down there and I was shooting up. And there's this. It's not glass anymore. It's some sort of hard light shield. As you can see, I don't know if you can break it or if you have to do something to turn it off. I've totally forgotten because uh, it's been many years. It's been I don't I don't think I ever even played multiplayer in Master Chief Collection, but we'll try blowing it up if we don't. This is really cool. More flood forms in this room. Very cool. And up here, I'll pick up the BR. So yeah, I have no idea if there's some other way to open this, or if you just do enough damage to it, it breaks. So let's find out. It's just gone red, and it's broken. There we go. So now, that glass that was never able to be broken in the first uh, Halo 2. Also, assault rifles were never in Halo 2 either, but hey. They added that. Now we can jump through this area. We can shoot up if people are around. We can aim... But it doesn't last very long, because then the shield comes back. And that's the other kind of extra gimmick in this level. If in the, it was the big bubble shield in the middle of the Ascension remake. Zenith or Zenith. And they're here on Lockdown, the remake of... Did I... Lockout. Yeah, Lockdown, the remake of Lockout. Um, they added that little thing in the middle. It's very cool. So that's it for Halo 2. I'll be back tomorrow with Akami HD. And then I will return with more Halo 2 on Thursday where I'll be continuing on with the story. We'll do another big chunk of the story and then look at a couple more of the maps. We'll probably be looking at Bloodline, which is the Coagulation remake. I have a lot to say about that. So um, that should be fun. Thank you, as always, for watching. I will leave you with this image of a creepy-looking flood. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.